And now it's time for the final award of the evening. Here to present the award for Grand Boar of the Year is still the editor of Private Eye, Ian Hislop. Welcome back. So, Ian, uh, who, who's, who are the favourites for this particular award? The nominations for Grand Boar of the Year are John Major for revealing that it was Maggie's fault all along, Madonna for revealing her bottom again, and Andrew Morton for revealing that the Princess of Wales is a living saint and not a dim Sloan who makes dirty phone calls to car dealers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you might like to see this, Squidgy. Oh, love in the royal train. I don't leap in and out of bed with people, not like that. <laughs> And here comes the Prime Minister of Great Britain to receive this coveted Grand Boar of the Year award. Obviously very pleased, shaking hands all round. Uh, and he's going to mount the podium now. The only thing he has mounted this year, let me add, uh, he's, uh, well, he seems to be dithering, g going back in fact. Um, not quite sure what's uh, going on here, but... Um uh, well, the Prime Minister seems to have done a U-turn at the last minute, <laughs> uh, so no change there. So uh, instead, will you all please stand for the national anthem, because in that case, the award goes to the author of Diana, her true story, Princess Di sorry, Andrew Morton. <laughs> Andrew Morton's revelations about the royal family were dramatised earlier this year in a three-hour Sky Television spectacular. So it's quite surprising anyone's heard of them at all, really. <laughs> so, Andrew, author of the year, journalist of the year, and now bore of the year. How does the hat trick feel? <laughs> Wonderful. So, you must be terrifically rich. Well, some of my accountants say I've got a team of them work working in the Seychelles. They say I'm going to pay more tax than the Queen, but isn't everybody? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, Andrew. Um, <laughs> the next, including you, Ian. Indeed. The next question I have to ask is: Did Diana write it? Well, she she was around. She I was, was around. around. I was, I was working away. And what about the rumour that she fancies you rotten, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> Neither as much as you do, Ian. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Andrew Morton! <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mike Oldfield and Harry Enfield as we present a new version specially recorded for tonight's tribute to boredom of Mike Oldfield's Tubular Bells. <laughs> Now listen, you're not going to call it tubular, tubular, tubular balls. balls. I'm well, not going to call balls, it tubular I balls, tubular am bells, I? Right? All right, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> tubular bogs. I need a bog. It's a great piece of music, this. <laughs> Oliver Reed on the bottle. <laughs> <laughs>
John Burt on PAYE. <laughs> on every bloody tape machine in every wine bar. <laughs> Derek Hatt on trial. <laughs> John Bryant on Fergie, on Steve Wyatt, on Leslie Player, on Major Ron Ferguson, on the front of the news of the world again. <laughs> Douglas Heard on Maastricht Treaty, now being dropped by the US Air Force. <laughs> and Mike Holdfield on Tubular Bells.